his granny's probably waiting for him outside with an upset dream, so I'll give him this one. Um, scrimmage today, I like the, the competition. I know some of you guys have gotten with the players and against me, but most of you guys are, are defensive guys and got with the defensive players and against it's the uh, scoring system, but I think it's fair. They got to get the steps off the field. That's the thing that we have been emphasizing defensively is get ourselves off the field. We wasn't very good last year in third down and getting ourselves off the field. That means third and ones, third and twos, and even third and longs we weren't very good. So that's been a huge emphasis, and uh, we weren't able to get ourselves off the field as much as we'd like, we, we would have liked today. Uh, I thought the offense did a good job moving the ball. Uh, there were some big plays. But the offense didn't get the ball in the end zone, especially the number one. They didn't get the ball in the end zone enough. Uh, I thought the twos did a really good job of getting in, in the end zone with some big plays from uh, our running backs. And also, uh, E.J. Fields made a play, which I was happy to see. Uh, all three quarterbacks, uh, just me uh, sitting back there. And, and I, was, I always want to try to stand behind the quarterbacks and see how they uh, handled themselves in the huddle. And I thought all of them commanded uh, uh, respect uh, when they got in the huddle and also um, managed it off the line of scrimmage well also. Um, the thing that I liked about all three of them is they were able to get themselves out of trouble with their feet. We know with their legs. We know that Morgan Newton uh, can, can uh, get himself out, out of uh, trouble with, with his legs. He, he, he has the ability to erase a lot of bad plays. Uh, that's what we talk about. Uh, but I was happy to see Moss move out of the pocket. Uh, uh, just, I mean, it's not, sometimes it's just a slight move, okay? Uh, and, and make a play. Mike um, did, the, did the same thing and moving himself and making a play. Uh, and, and, and those plays that came down the field also. That's the thing. When you move and start pressing the line of scrimmage, you got a chance to make some big plays because people start coming out of coverage. And they all three did that. So I was happy to see that. Um, the running back position, Donald Russell continues to plead his case. He's building a nice little resume on why he should um, be uh, the second team running back. And I, and I was telling uh, uh, John, Jonathan George that uh, 23 is making a case for himself. You better start making one for yourself also. Uh, and I really like the way he, with Donald Russell, we know he can run the ball. We know he can run the ball. I like the way he stepped up and took on Blitz and Linebacker uh, and hit uh, Quay Huzzy right in the lips. Those things are, are, are big and key in, in protecting our quarterback. Offensive line-wise, we got to protect our quarterback uh, better than we, we did uh, this spring. Uh, we, we, are, we know we can run the football. We, we got a good running system uh, in that uh, we, we got an we've gained angles uh, and we gained numbers on people the way we run the football. Uh, but we've got to be able to throw the football and we got to be better protectors. The receivers, I thought the thing that they're doing is they're making plays now. As they're starting to grow up, they all look at our, our top eight receivers. The only two of them were, were uh, receivers coming out of high school. The other ones were, were quarterbacks. And they're now starting to grow up and understand um, how to lean and, and, and separate. The thing they got to do is now is play with their uh, Weight down. There's too many, too many uh, guys slipping today. You can't slip. There's no excuse for slipping. When, when, and when you're as big as we are at wide receiver, you really got to concentrate on playing, uh, playing low. And, and with way too many times that we slip, when the quarterback's counting on you. So, but we got a chance at wide receiver if we get that corrected. Defensively, um, I thought they played the first team defense. Swarmed the football. Uh, you saw. Danny Trevathan showing up all over the field. I've been uh, pressing Danny Trevathan to be, be a leader. And sometimes guys don't think they're leaders. I think Danny's been sitting back in the, in the, in the background watching uh, Sam, Sam Maxwell, Micah Johnson lead, and I, I'm not sure if he sees himself as a leader. We expect Danny Trevathan to be uh, the leader of this defense, and he showed it today the way he plays. It's all over the field. He's, he's making tackles behind the line of scrimmage. Uh, he, he's uh, He's filling, filling, and scraping, and making plays. He's also made made a, a big time interception, which is a play that when the offense was moving the ball and, and looked like they had control of the game, Danny Trevathan came up with a huge play with the interception. So he is 
got to step up and be one of the leaders. Now we got to get it. He, we know he leads by the way he plays. We got to get Danny Shavate to lead vocally too, because we need more leaders over over there on the defensive side. Like where our defensive <coughs> line is getting off on the snap count. They're doing a good job of putting pressure, especially when they doing their games, their twist. Uh, and our guys didn't do a good job of picking it up offensively, but they are doing a really good job of, of, of twisting. Um, the other guy on defense that showed up a lot uh, was uh, Mr. Cobble, uh, but he missed a big time. Uh, tackle down uh, going in that, that cost us a touchdown. He, he's got to make 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 that play. Uh, Quay Huzzy showed up a lot, liked the way he plays, and then my friend Winston guy got his first interception. <laughs> <laughs> so now he's one up on me. And he's one up on me. And that now has one more interception in his career than I do. So, and I played wide receiver. <laughs> so, uh, question for the coach: Joe, who is your best quarterback? Not sure of that yet. Not sure of that. I think this competition is, is way too close to, to, to decide. Um, in April, I think we need to, uh, uh, we'll, we'll carry this competition in, in, in August and hopefully in, we can come up with a decision quickly uh, because we need that guy to um, get majority of the number one snaps. So we'll, we'll carry this, uh, continue this uh, competition in August. Are you really disappointed you don't? Have the number one quarterback? No, I'm not disappointed. I mean, the reason why I'm not disappointed because I think all we can win with all three of those guys. I really do. I think we can win with all three of them. If I thought there was, I would say, uh, I'm not sure if I could win with any of them, I'd be disappointed if one of them didn't step up. But I think we can win with all three of them. Uh, we have to. Uh, we would have to uh, alter the, what, what we do with, with, with them. But uh, I think we can win with all three of them. We might have to help. Help them with some on the line of scrimmage uh, stuff from from the lines from from the sidelines with some of the, the the two younger ones. But I think we can win with all three of them. So no, I'm not disappointed. Joker, 